All right, YouTube, YouTubers, welcome to my studio again. Uh, today I'm going to be painting a lake, lakeside, lake scene, something, one of those two, <laughs> lakeside or lake scene. Um, again, I'm, I'm going to be using my, my uh, trusted palette knife, and here we go. When I when I paint, I'm I'm really uh, looking for that for that space, that zone. So I'm, you're gonna see that that I'm implementing lots of freedom, and that for me, that's good. It's a good thing to have freedom when I'm painting. I don't I don't like to be stressed out as as oh oh this line you know nope that's not me. That's it. There's there's enough of that in life. I don't. I don't need any painting. Um, I like to, and this took a while. I mean, don't don't assume that 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 um, that I started painting like this out of nowhere. Okay, I certainly had that freedom, but I had to work. Uh, I did some personal soul searching and work to get to a level where 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 I wasn't micromanaging the painting. It took it took uh, it took some serious uh, effort, emotional effort on my on my end. So there it is. <laughs> Why well, I I I think that the artists just in general, uh, maybe because uh, there's so many uh, possibilities. Because uh, so many artists are so you know creative that they start going in all different directions, and that's good. I mean that that creates uh, this freedom, right? But it can also hinder you when it comes to not just picking something and going with it, you know, rather than 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 oh I could have done this here differently, or I could have done that there, or, you know, um, kind of going back and forth a lot. And I think I've seen it with, with, with you know, self-taught artists like myself, and I've seen it with, with um, uh, formally trained artists also. Uh, I've seen it on both, you know, on both, on both ends. I don't think anyone anyone really escapes that feeling of trying to control and I mean you you even hear things uh, from artists and and people that are you know creating artwork or whatever they 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 say terms such as oh you solved that problem I like how you solved that you know <laughs> so it's, it's like a, it's like if you're playing chess or something there's just, there are all these constant uh, problem solving. You know uh, the tone. The what are you gonna do there? You know what are you gonna do when you're confronted in, with with the, the reflection? Is, is is this supposed to be darker or lighter and all of that? And I mean, there's certainly that that aspect of painting. I I you know I I get it. There's there's that that um, certain rules right to create a level of realism to create a level of Oh, um, just so that it looks like a painting, right? Um, but what is a painting? I, I don't. I personally don't like to abide so much to those rules. I I learned them. I learned uh, most of them, and then I threw them away. And the reason why it's not because I was trying to. Copy Picasso <laughs> when he said that. Learn the rules. Uh, it's because I understood what he meant. I wasn't trying to to oh let me see let me do what Picasso did. You know, I I actually came to a place in my life where I understood 
by experience. It was an experiential. It wasn't. It wasn't something that. Oh yes, yes, I get it. Uh, here, this is what I'm gonna do. You know, it was an experience when I started seeing, studying my own versions, my own. When I started going out there and looking at the at nature. I mean, you don't even have to go out there and look at nature. You you you've been surrounded by it since since you've been in this world. So you know what it is. You know what it looks like. You just you just uh, been told probably that it's supposed to look a certain way, but but it's not. You know, when when I look at a, at a landscape or when I look at, at a lakescape like this, I'm not thinking, oh, it's my tone right or this or that. No, I'm thinking, I'm having these memories and all these things happening at once. You know, I'm having memories when I was a kid when I used to visit, you know, a lake, and then and then. And then one of my uh, one of my movies that that had a lake, you know, one of my favorite movies, and and then uh, a dream, and and then uh, my charcoal studies, my my plein air studies, and it all just kind of comes together to form the landscape. You know, whether you're doing it plein air or you're doing it in the studio, it comes together because of your experience. This is why I tell people when, when they say to me, how did you finish a painting so quick? There's no way. And, and, you know, I always, well, not always, but when I get a chance, I tell them, you're seeing the end result. Really, I've been painting for over 20 years, and it really took that. It took 20, it took more than 20 years to, to, to come up with this painting. It's just that you're seeing the end result. It took 20 years to get to this level of, of not this high, you know, uh, egoic level of all oh, this is how I paint, but of the freedom of painting the way I do, of, of my own approach, of my vision. It took that long, and that many, you know, that, that much practice. So, so when I create a painting, I know that I'm not just, you know, creating a painting in that moment. I'm, I'm really a. Uh, I'm really uniting more, more than just that moment. I'm, 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 I'm coming together with all the years of experience and, and my experience as an artist, all together. It comes together in this moment. So it, it's not just a, a, it's not just an 11 by 14 inches painting. It's really the result of more than 20 years of serving, practicing, um, and, and studying. And you know, it's just. Just like everything else, so I know I went there on a on a rumble. <laughs> I tend to do that, but I just wanted to tell you, you know, artists out there, if you're an artist or or you want to be an artist or you're an interior designer, you know what I mean. And when you when you when you do something so so much, there comes a a freedom to it. But the freedom is not because oh, uh, the person. Uh, got so good or, or, or this or that. The freedom is because you understand, you have a level of understanding of what you're doing and and you're just, you're, 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 you're at a somewhat at ease. You're no longer so restricted by trying to, you know, micromanage the painting or whatever it is that you do. Those levels of restrictions uh, fade, start fading away more and more. And this is this is why I paint like this. This is why I create this type of work. Because I, I didn't want to be restricted by what the proper painting needs to look like. <laughs> I wanted to do my version of it. What's my painting? You know, and I ask you, what does your painting look like? And you won't find out if you're starting, you won't find out until you do enough of it. And I mean, and I mean enough. When I mean enough, I mean plenty, plenty of it. You will not figure out. I promise you, you will not figure it out. I don't think so. Unless you start doing enough of it. If you do enough practice, you'll start figuring out your voice. So there we go. This is uh, a lakeside a la Trujillo.
I'm so cool. I even use my talent knife to sign. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Till next time.